didn't know where I was or who I was. Three weeks old, started to struggle with his breathing. Temperature dropped. Encephalitis. Encephalitis. I couldn't stand the light. I couldn't even stand the clink of light. I had total darkness. No, nope, never heard of it. Imagine being affected by a disease you've never heard of. Encephalitis is inflammation and swelling of the brain, often caused by a virus or by the body's defences. World Encephalitis Day is about raising awareness about a condition about which little is known. Fifteen. I am four. Encephalitis can affect anyone of any age. Brazil. Sierra Leone. Malawi. It affects people all over the world. To mark the first World Encephalitis Day, we wanted to do something big really big. Today we've been over in Liverpool uh, attempting to break the Guinness World Record for the biggest human organ, making a brain out of people. Patients with encephalitis uh, often have flu-like symptoms, very non-specific symptoms, they may be confused or have very strange behaviour and it's really important if they do have any of those symptoms that doctors would think about brain infections and refer them immediately to the hospital. The doctors come out, three sets of different doctors come out and the final set thought there was something wrong with it so they put it into the hospital. When we get to these patients early with appropriate investigations and appropriate treatments we can make a dramatic impact on their outcome. We had about three or four lumbar punctures to actually get a confirmed diagnosis exactly to what virus it was. I think I actually would have died. <laughs> It was a bit of a 50-50. Mum and Dad said he just, it was the worst thing a parent could hear. Often, patients have seizures. A seizure occurs when the brain's electrical activity becomes disorganised. It's like the wires getting crossed. Even with treatment, patients can still be left with problems. Depending on which part of the brain is affected, that determines what type of problem they have. If it's the temporal lobe, then memory is often affected. When I first came out of hospital, I had problems with my memory. I couldn't remember before the illness or through the period I was in hospital, only what people were telling me. The cerebellum controls balance, and when that's damaged, people can lose their balance and find it difficult to walk. At Liverpool, we are leading research internationally to try and fight encephalitis. In Asia, we have been involved in major campaigns vaccinating millions of children against Japanese encephalitis. For other forms of encephalitis, it's about doctors recognising the disease. In Africa, where I work, rabies is an important cause of encephalitis. With the Liverpool Big Brain, we're setting a new world record, but it's more important than that. We're raising awareness about encephalitis. Think brain infections. Think encephalitis.